Hi everyone, I was planning that the next upload I make is going to be a real video, you know, uh, the video I was planning to release um, called Aspects of Lovecraftian Horror or What Makes Something Lovecraftian Horror. Uh, but then I was on, in on the internet and I typed in Lovecraft into Google News and then this article popped up with a bunch of other articles. But this is the article I'm going to be looking at uh, today in this article discussion this one here by IndieWive because all the articles are basically giving the same information so it doesn't really matter which one we read but the news is that <laughs> while there's an adaptation of the color out of space coming out in 2019 and it's starring Nicolas Cage oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! huh okay well I mean that was sort of the first <laughs> yeah when I, I i read that i actually did a double take like what am i reading this correctly nicholas cage and lovecraft that seems like an oddball combination but okay whatever you know uh so let's see what this article has to say about this upcoming adaptation i'm like a prickly pear it took a few decades but nicholas cage and hp lovecraft were finally combining forces such a weird way to write it, as in like Nicolas Cage and H.P. Lovecraft are natural bedfellows. Spec Division has announced the actor will be starring in Color Out of Space, a new adaptation of the legendary author's short story. The film is said to be relate to be the latest collaboration between Cage and Spec Division, which last year brought audiences the midnight movie sensation Mandy. Hmm, okay, well, I've never seen Mandy, even though that seems to be like they even mentioned here in the title Mandy as in like that's some great film although starring Cage and backed by the Mandy producing team Color Out of Space boasts a different director Richard Stanley who directed the 1990 sci-fi thriller Hardware and was the original director of the infamous 1996 version of The Island of Dr. Moreau I I don't know who Richard Stanley is never heard of him in my life 1990 sci-fi thriller Hardware I've never heard of that either uh, the, the Island of Dr. Moreau, I know the general idea, I know that film starred Marlon Brando, I remember watching it as a kid, and I think I turned it off, you know, I mean, I used to lot, watch a lot of adult films, not porn, adult, adult orientated films when I was a kid, you know, my parents didn't really control me that way, so I mean, I watched a lot of horror, a lot of weird sci-fi stuff, I was pretty mature as a kid, but I remember The Island of Dr. Moreau, and I thought it was a bit rubbish. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's kind of a red flag that that they tr try to promote the director by listing two films, which I probably think people are going to think, huh? What are those? I was a little drunk. Plus, I was horny. The Color Out of Space will star Cage as a man whose family starts to be affected both physically and psychologically by the crash landing of a meteorite. When the incoming space chunk brings with it a mysterious alien force, some significant changes begin to happen. The rest of the Color Out of Space ensemble includes Jolie Richardson, uh, what the fuck name is that? Kua, who, uh, Kuorianka, Kuorianka Kilcher, Tommy Chong, Elliot Knight, and Julian Hilliard. Uh, huh, okay, well, first of all, I mean, they just gave a brief synopsis here, but basically that synopsis could be used verbatim for the Lovecraft story, which kind of makes me think, okay, it doesn't sound like it's a loose adaptation. I really am not a fan of loose adaptations, you know, because loose ad adaptations take something that people love, you know, so you have product A, people love product A, and then these other people think, okay, we're going to make product B, but we're going to completely make it a loose adaptation. But when people really want product A, and then they see product B being some film or whatever, uh, then the filmmakers are going to be proudly standing, look at our film, it's such a loose adaptation, isn't it amazing? And the whole time you're thinking, you know, I wanted product A, I wanted what I already had, I wanted an adaptation of that. But from the brief, I mean it's two sentences, but it sounds like it's pretty uh, direct adaptation, you know, they're not going to be taking too many liberties. As for these, these other characters, I mean, 
these actors I should say I've never heard of them I I couldn't begin to guess who these people are I guess maybe I don't know Tommy Chong maybe wasn't there a film series called Cheech and Chong and they were sort of based on real life stoners so I mean I don't know I'm just guessing there but I have no idea who these people are <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Lovecraft's original short story, The Color Out of Space, was first published in 1927 and has since gone on to inspire multiple other screen versions, beginning with a loose 1965 adaptation called Die Monster Die, starring Boris Karloff. Uh, yeah, um, I haven't seen that film, but obviously I know who Boris Karloff is. He's the Frankenstein monster from those old black and white films. Um, frankly, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's the color out of space being adapted adapted um i think it's probably one of the easier films to adapt except how are you going to depict the color out of space on film you know in a visual medium how do you how do you depict it that is something i'm going to be curious about because eventually they're going to have to show it on the screen you know to the viewers but how do you depict a color which was described as basically indescribable you know in such impossible terms that I'm curious to see how it's going to be but the color out of space yeah I respect it as a story Lovecraft probably one of Lovecraft's best it's in so many anthologies that get released people always comment that it's one of these fa one of their favorite stories but I, I would much rather see I don't know the shadow of Innsmouth adapted I would I would I would throw my money at the screen right now if I could see uh, even a short trailer of that adaptation coming out, but we'll see What is it? What's wrong sister? Uh, going on here uh, Just it talks about cage and his recent work. I mean his recent work. Okay, let's talk about Nicolas Cage uh, I used to really like him as as an actor. I mean, I loved face off uh, Garden 60 seconds the rock was amazing. I love that stuff these films that he used to do. Vampire's Kiss was really weird. I thought that was cool. I'm a vampire. Kill me. Kill me. He's a respectable actor. He definitely deserves respect. Uh, but he's a bit of an oddball, isn't he? I mean, I don't know. Nicolas Cage. Honestly, he's not the first name that I thought of when I thought, okay, Lovecraft adaptation. Who are we going to cast? But I'm, I have enough trust in his abilities that I am going to give him a chance, to say the least. Um, uh, as for Hollywood adapting the film, I always had a sort of red flag in my head when I thought about, okay, Hollywood is going to do uh, Lovecraft. Because frankly, you know, they've taken so many franchises now, Hollywood in general, or, or the modern mainstream production companies of films and TV series and they've just butchered them up the ass you know like if we look at uh, Star Wars I mean I'm not really a Star Wars fan but I I have great sympathy for the Star Wars fans and the shit they have to put up with regarding Kathleen Kennedy raping Star Wars with her, her political agenda the Force Awakens the Last Jedi those, those are fucking disasters and you know it's rightly so that Star Wars fans are pissed and the same goes for Doctor Who fans with the season 11 uh, where they cast the doctor as as this you know this morally righteous woman who you know tours wrote tours the past you know the history of Rosa Parks and all this sort of shit I mean it's it's just it's really on the nose how they've inserted social justice and leftist politics in in so many so many franchises that are coming out that I would think that if Lovecraft would ever get adapted by Hollywood that they would not miss the opportunity because we know in literature you know the modern Lovecraft shit that gets passed off as Lovecraft in literature it's all social justice shit like I mean look at my previous videos my previous article discussion videos if you don't know what I'm talking about but they try to really hammer it in you know this oh we must subvert Lovecraft because he had unpopular opinions and we must make him compatible with persons of color in the 21st century so yeah I always thought if Lovecraft ever got adapted this is gonna be shit but so far this seems like it's a little company uh, they seem to be depicting him uh, depicting the story with they seem to be handling it with some respect 
the summary of what the story is going to be about seems legit and Nicolas Cage I mean uh, you know he I've never seen him say anything stupid on Twitter or what are these fucking iguanas doing on my coffee table you know like these celebrities which like to say uh, stupid shit like virtue signal or something like that you know I mean I, I don't want to get political now but these days with adaptations with modern movies it seems that there's always some message hidden in there that they want to push on and shit like that but I don't think it's gonna happen here it seems like a legit thing I'm looking forward to it and if it comes out you bet your ass I'm gonna be reviewing it reviewing the film so uh, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna actually go and work on the video that I really want to upload soon I'm still on target for uploading it before January ends so I have seven days until that so I'm gonna get that done and I will see you guys again when I upload that video.